you a message of hope if the cloud be full of rain they will empty themselves one day god will embarrass you with blessings that when you say god is too much god says, uh, too much for what it's not just a race it's not just a religion it's not just a sect it's the move for the advancement of the kingdom he mends the broken heart you can put your trust in him you must see the need for a miracle you may not be sick but is this the best of your life you will be so full of the holy ghost that when you step out of this place your world will know there is something The word prosperity comes from the word prosper and it simply means to do well. The word prosperity, please write it down, comes from the word prosper and it means to do well. There are five areas of true biblical prosperity. Number one, spiritual prosperity. Spiritual prosperity. Number two, mental prosperity number three the prosperity of your health bodily prosperity number four financial prosperity and number five relational prosperity if any of these areas are wanting in your life you are not prosperous by god's definition wealth in the kingdom is not an achievement it's a trust in the kingdom you don't achieve prosperity you are trusted with it in matthew 25 the bible says he gave them that talent after a while he came back to seek for accountability this is the difference between kingdom wealth and just wealth that you realize that i'm a steward by grace of this that god has given say after me in the name of jesus i will not let money take the place of god in my life there are some sisters right now that are not even in their houses they are in one man's house you came for koinonia but you came from somebody's house what are you looking for money he can sleep with me no problem because of money you mock god every time you compromise to be rich you mock god you insult god and you say god is not able but our god is jehovah jireh is more than enough are you listening to me some of us may need to end some dangerous devilish association there are some of us students right now you are already planning to swindle your parents it's in your plan you and the group of friends you're already planning to tell them oh i'm in final year i'm in this i need two hundred thousand, and then you cut corner whether you come and stand here and drop the tide god will not honor what comes from a heart of wickedness he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore god even thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows do you know that the reason why some of our uncles cannot bless us is part of the covenant that they had in covens before they got well have you seen people like that they are so wealthy they can even give the poor but they will never help anybody in their family it's part of the agreement they have sold their soul to the devil for it the apostle speaking he said what shall separate us what shall separate us from the love of christ there are some of us very little things have separated you this morning don't get me wrong money is very important that's why we are teaching it but it's not the way many of us are going about it oh let me define spiritual prosperity i didn't define it it means to be born again filled with the holy spirit it means to understand the ways and the principles of the kingdom paul was speaking to the church he said my little children of whom i travel until christ be formed in you the formation of christ in us that's what makes you humble 
so you see a man who is a multi-millionaire but he's so humble he can still be an usher in church is that true david said i rather be a doorkeeper have you read that scripture i read this was the king with all his prosperity he said i rather leave my palace and be a doorkeeper in the house of god hallelujah no matter who you are you drop your title and money when you come to the house of god when you come to the house of god you are a student in the school of the spirit and you learn with all humility and serve with all your heart we are going to go to that scripture the bible says if they obey and serve me they will spend their days in prosperity and their years in pleasure number two mental prosperity it means you are prosperous mentally when your will your emotions your intellect or in short your mind are well developed and deployed to improve the quality of your life there are people who are not prosperous mentally madmen those who are going through all kinds of depression they are not prosperous mentally you don't want to be rich financially and then have all kinds of mental issues wrong mindsets that's lack of mental prosperity imagine a man who is born from a rich family how many of you have seen what we call imbeciles not an insult now have you seen those kind of people how many of you have seen them those who are born from rich families they are very wealthy but they can't think are you getting my point they are not smart they have loss of memory that's lack of mental prosperity you need to be alert you need to be sharp you need to be intelligent you need to be able to articulate yourself and articulate the things of the kingdom intelligence is very useful in kingdom advancement when you read acts chapter 18 the last five verses it talks about the encounter of of who apollos now right apollos when he met aquila and priscilla he the bible says he was a learned man his mind was developed the kingdom does not make people dull are you hearing what i'm saying and daniel was of an excellent spirit it's not enough to just be blessed and they call you and they say please go and make a speech talk to a few people who are trusting god for blessings and you just stand and just speak nonsense around but you are a millionaire you are not blessing anybody your mind must be alert so that you can transfer the knowledge you know to bless others if you are not mentally prosperous your prosperity cannot go far because you cannot help others to come to that place and the beauty of the kingdom is not only that you attain a state but you can guide others to come to that place many of us are allowing spirituality to make us dull god is speaking to you tonight you better dust off that thing tell yourself i will be competent i won't go anywhere and any man relegates me to the background being a christian is not just to start prayer and start opening prayer and end it you have something to say a man of god said don't just say something have something to say don't just say something have something to say there are those that are saying something but there are men that have something to say job was one of those men although he was born again unbelievers and everybody testified he was an intelligent man the opening of his mouth was the the the, the unfailing of wisdom job in the days of my youth when the secrets of the lord were upon my tabernacle he said the young men saw me and they fled the elders saw me and they bowed their head what level of competence will make a man become a global voice because there are some of you nigeria is too small for you but you need to push yourself higher the way you are now god cannot lift you you can't represent him properly number three bodily prosperity let's leave this mental thing hallelujah to be prosperous bodily means to be free from sickness to be free from disease to be free from infirmity to be free from yokes and oppressions of darkness when that state becomes a reality in your life you are prosperous in your health there are many rich men who are sick they are sick there are people who take drugs all the time and 
this is not mockery but i'm just contending this is why we have times when we pray and if you are part of those people as you are listening to me now i want you to know that the anointing of the spirit is moving from this word and that devil of oppression over your body lives right now in the name of jesus christ you must believe it's god's desire for you to be healthy samadam he said something he said many people punish their health to be rich then they use their money to maintain their health they kill themselves health wise so that they can be rich now when they become rich what happens they use their money to maintain their health hypertension all kinds of things the man is a billionaire but he's seen people he's seen things you sit down and you are quarreling later your wife taps you and says no you are okay nobody's is taking the money because something is wrong with you even if you buy the wheelchair for one million you are still on a wheelchair hallelujah and there are certain things that can help you to maintain good health it's not everything that is demonic try and eat well you may not have all the means now but please eat well turn and tell your neighbor eat well there are some of us the wickedness you are doing to yourself the the revenge will come in the future some of us you've been taking gary from almost throughout this week and it's not like yes of course things are not dear yes but come on now abba go to your friend's room let him help you what is all that don't starve yourself if you're fasting fine if you're not fasting eat well understand about balanced diet it doesn't take money it just takes wisdom with the 300 naira you used to buy pomo all 300 naira pomo break it down have a balanced diet start from somewhere start from somewhere some of us are rich but we are making foolish nutritional decisions very foolish biscuit in the morning this puff puff or whatever you are just eating every kind of food strong they ate garlic they ate cucumber do you know why they were strong that was part of the reason they ate onion they ate a lot of things see that's why you see people in the village they are not born again but 95 they are still strong no glasses take water regularly not just juice you go to sit down somewhere they give you 50 cl minerals only you now you take it a few minutes later see listen don't just laugh i'm very serious many of us have never paid attention i used to be like that anything just comes until the day the lord began to caution me and say mr man if you want to stay long be careful finally relational prosperity what does it mean having quality relationships please write having quality relationships that give opportunities to express love and care having quality relationships that gives opportunities to express love and care comma improve yourself comma learn share affect and impact lives just be writing and build a lasting legacy for generations that follow listen there is a dimension of your life that must be prepared to leave legacy after you if christ tarries not necessarily when you are gone in your lifetime you can build a legacy and bless others today we are able to learn some of these things because our fathers and those who have gone ahead of us among other accomplishments they were able to sustain relational prosperity so they wrote books that we can interact with hallelujah they held meetings that we attended that blessed us i'll end this teaching today by defining what financial dominion is financial dominion therefore is the ability to totally conquer lack poverty financial hardship alongside the effects they bring what are the effects fear insecurity 
greed self-centeredness unrighteousness all of these are effects that means at the end of this series you should be equipped to make this definition a reality in your life say amen